right, today for math, we are going to write to 100. So I want you to make sure you do one of the sides. If you want to do both sides with me, that's great. So you need this worksheet out of your new packet of stuff to be able to do with me. And we are going to start on this side where you write your name. So go ahead and write your name if you want, and let's start with this side. Actually, that's not true. I want to start with this side. I feel like more often, so write your name on this side if you want, and then flip it over to the back. And you need to make sure you're on the back. So what I'm going to do is I went ahead and made a big hundreds chart on the whiteboard so you could see. And they gave us 1, 2, 10 down here, and then you have 11 and 21, and then they gave us the 100 way down here. So I'm going to switch to a different color so you can see. So I want you, first off, um, let's just start writing the numbers in. So. I'm going to go, so I don't have to write 1 and 2, so in my head, or if I want to trace it so that I don't mess up, we're going to start with writing the number 3. So I'm going to keep going across, and I'm going to write 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and they've already given me 10, so I don't have to write it. Now we're going to keep going. We've written until 20, so let's keep going. So they've given us 11, so we don't have to write it. So now we're going to write 12. And I'm going to make sure the 1 is in front. And then when we get past 19, we have to write 20, and we know that's 2, and then 0. Now, one of the things I love, I'm going to see if I can, let me rewrite my 1 here. It doesn't look very, there we go. Okay, um, one of the things about hundreds charts that I love is there are patterns to them. So, for example, we have a one in front, and this whole row has a one in front till we get to the end. So this row is going to have a two in front all the way and the, until the end. It's going to be 30. Another thing I love about hundreds charts is as you're going down, that number stays the same as well. We have three, three, this whole column is going to have threes in it. So following some of the patterns, I actually could fill in a further row or a column without doing it in order. So I'm going to just show you what I mean by that. And if you want to do some with the cool pattern, you are welcome to. If you want to just keep going, I'll erase and we'll keep putting them in. But for example, I know everything in this column right here is going to have an 8. So I could come and I could just write 8 all the way down the column from what was in the 1's here. So those are all going to have 8's in them. I could come here and I could write, because this is going 1, 0, 1, 2, so this is 3. So I could write a 3 to start all of these, this row, till almost the end. Remember, we can't do this one because it's the next tense. So let's go ahead. I'm going to erase what I put in so I can keep going with you. But like I said, if you understand that pattern, you can go ahead and fill in some of the cool patterns that we have in our hundreds chart. So let me just erase my eights here, and we'll come back, and you'll see they all become eights again in the ones column there. All right, let's go ahead and do our next row. 
So they've given us 21. So we're just going to write 22. And the nice thing about 22, you can't mess up what's in the tens and the ones. But then you need to make sure your two is first and then your three, your two, and then your four, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. And see, we're continuing with our eights coming down. 29 and 30. Now notice this one is ending all with tens, like with a zero. And it's being our tens, 10, 20, 30. So we could keep going 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. All right, let's do our next row. If at any point you want to pause this video, go ahead and pause the video. But I'm just going to keep doing my tens, my Rows of 10 is what I meant, not my 10s like this. That was a little bit confusing. So we're going to write 31, 32. And you want to kind of check yourself every once in a while that you have not messed up your row or your column. And you also want to make sure a common mistake that I see is somebody will go from 40 to like 51 and they'll skip all the fours. So I'm going to keep checking myself. This was a zero in the tens. One, two, three, and now I want to do fours because that's what comes next. You also want to make sure that you don't skip like uh, 34 and you can check yourself by making sure you're keeping your columns all the same. I see all my fives, all my sevens, all my eights in their column. So let's go ahead and do the 40s. So I'm going to write 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. We're halfway to our 100. Okay, now we're going to keep going. So I'm checking myself. Zero, one, two, three, four, fives in this row. And I'm going to do 51, 52, 53, 58, 59, 60. Now I can check, remember, I can look at any of my columns. Do they all end with 4? Do they all end with 2, 9, 0? Maybe check yourself after every row so that if you've made a mistake, you only have one row to fix instead of lots of rows. All right, let's keep going. So we're on our zero, one, two, three, four, five, sixes. So we're going to do 61, 62, and 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, getting so close to the end. You guys have got this. Take a little pause if you need to. Come back to the video. Hopefully you guys are starting to get where writing the numbers isn't really hard and so it's easy to go through. For some of you it may be really hard to get these all in here in these little boxes. Just keep trying your best. I just want you to do one hundreds chart with me today. Okay, let's go ahead and do the last two rows. So I'm going to do, I've got my 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We're on to the 8s. 
and we are still doing all our checks of our columns to make sure we're doing it the right way. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. Okay, we're going to keep going. I'm hoping this is still recording. My computer turned off. Let's see. Hopefully you guys saw me the whole time. We'll have to check. Okay, let's keep going. Last row. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and you can trace over 100 or it's already been written there for us. Now, I'm going to do another video with the other way. So what I want you to just understand, if this is all you're going to do today with me, that's great. And if you want to send me a picture, I would love to see your hundreds chart. But the other way, we're going to go down. And I think the thing they want you to understand is this is 10 by 10. So it doesn't matter which way you go you're going to end up with 100 squares either way. So in the other video that I'm going to do in just a minute, we're just going to write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We're going to go down, up and down instead of across. But there's one more thing I need for you to do today. So we need to look at a strategy called counting on. So if I tell you start at the number 18, and keep counting, you don't go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. You just need to know in your head what comes after that. So looking at this hundreds chart, you would just start at 18 and you would say 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, till somebody asks you to stop. If I say start at 63 and keep going, you would just come here, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73. So that's what's called counting on. And that's a strategy that we do need to work on in kindergarten. So what I'm going to do is on Thursdays, I want you, I'm going to give you some numbers and I want you to count on. And then I'll tell you, I'll count with you some of the time. And then some of the time, I want you to just do it for your parents or a sibling um, one of your brothers or sisters, and practice that strategy of counting on. Way to write to 100 today, guys. I know it was a lot of work.